One. Wow, here we go again. Thursday night, big game at King's Home. Fantastic for a Gloucester man. Yeah, brilliant. You know, it's, we're lucky we've had a great result Friday, so there's, there's a high in the camp. And the boys are training really well today so far, so it's, yes, it's great to be back at King's Home and an important fixture for us. You're important in, in this squad, not only as a player, but also a, the, the really strong link with Gloucester as a city. I mean, you, you, your, your heart and soul goes into this and the rest of the squad see that. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to think so. You know, it's, it, it means a lot for me to, to play for Gloucester, whether that's, you know, if, that was in the, if they were in the third division or whether they're playing Premiership, it's massive. And, you know, Nigel, even from the beginning of the season, when he brought in players like Terry Fanalua and he brought in some supporters to talk, it, it's, he wants to make it special that it is, it is playing for Gloucester and it's a rugby orientated town. So, yeah, there's, there is that responsibility. And to be honest, I think all the boys are really buying into it and, you know, everyone's really enjoying their rugby. The flavour of the fixture comes around because there are really two big names in it as well. I mean, it's a semi, you know, it's a court final of the of the Amelin, but Gloucester are playing Biarritz. Biarritz, massive name in Europe. Yeah, it is. It's, you know, we've been over there before in Europe. Um, we haven't got the result we wanted over there last time. Um, but with all French teams, they come the big physical, and if you let them play, they can they can they can produce some play some great rugby. So we're aware of their threats. They are a big name, um, but saying that, we're back at King's Home and. You know, we want to keep our record there now and keep building. I think we've got to, we've got to respect them. Of course, we have like we have any team, but when they come, you know, we've got to worry about us and we've got to look, look, be looking to beat them well. The professional game has brought lots of changes, and then none more so than you're going to have two former teammates possibly coming over, uh, Dimitri Ashvili and Ian Borshaw. I know you're in, in touch with them, nothing to do with Twitter, obviously, but um, how does that affect the game at all? Um, it, it doesn't really. You're a bit of banter before them. When the game when the game goes on, you don't even know. You know, you just you just get on with it. It's just a person, and that, that, that's the way it is. And the only time you have a bit of banter is if you tackle and you realise you're tackling someone's on the floor, and you give them a bit. But no, it doesn't really. It doesn't really affect it. The only the only plus side is you know them. They're their ins and outs really well of, of what they do as a player, maybe what their weaknesses are and what their strengths are. So that's probably the main the main advantage of it, getting to know their strengths and weaknesses. If it comes to that clash, is your, your French good or Dimitri's English better? <laughs> His English would be a lot better I think, than mine. Um, I'll leave Woody to uh, speak the French. This is uh, a re- the pointed end of the season for Gloucester. And again, I know I keep alluding to the fact that you've been here for a fair time, but this, this, this group of players can really uh, pull something together now. They're, they're on in competition, in this European competition, and also in the league. Yeah, I think for me, the main, the main thing I think for us now where we are is it's April. Um, and the squad is probably as fresh as I've ever seen it at this time of year. Um, so, I mean, if you take away, you know, we're, I think we're, we're building as a team, but the freshness, I think, is massive for us. You know, maybe where other teams might start to be tired. Well, where we have in a few time, you know, for seasons before we've tired around this time, and, you know, you're thinking, oh, we've only got a couple more months left. But now, everybody's really in good shape. You know, the stuff we did early on in the season and maybe the rotations of the players and stuff throughout the year is... It's, it's going to help now. I think for me, that's a massive. That's going to be massive for the last last month or so.